Hi, I'm Lori Klein and I've been an infrared photographer for over 40 years. As photographers, we're looking for ways to create images that stand apart. Infrared photography does that. It captures the non-visible spectrum and records higher wavelengths than the human eye can see, making the invisible visible. Combining infrared capture with post-production in Luminar 2018 is the perfect way to tell new and exciting stories. For your camera to capture in the infrared spectrum, your camera needs to be converted or you can use external filters. Do your research, follow other photographers, follow their infrared work, pay attention to the images that you are drawn to. Are they black and white or are they color? Also, what is your subject matter? Nature? People? Once you can identify what you're drawn to, see what conversion they are using. I use what is referred to as a standard conversion, a 720 nanometer, because I photograph people in landscape and I do a lot of black and white photography. There are many wonderful sites online that go into depth on the different conversions. Capture. The time of day and year is opposite of color in black and white when you want to photograph infrared. Infrared loves bright sunny days. The middle of the summer at noon is perfect. You wouldn't do that with a color image. Histograms are really important. Light meters do not see the non-visible spectrum, so you have to use a histogram in order to know whether your exposure is right or not. And you also need to have a lens hood because you can get flare. So there are three photographs that I'm going to show you now that are examples so that you can see the difference between a color image, a black and white image, and an infrared. There's a drastic change when we photograph in the infrared spectrum. Let's go back one more time. It's good for you to witness this so you can start pre-visualizing in a non-visible spectrum. It's also good sometimes to just take pictures of your subject in color and then in infrared so that you can compare it later. You really can see how magical and mysterious infrared can be. What happens when your subject is wearing UV sunglasses? Wow, the infrared can see right through them. Tattoos. In a lot of my workshops, we have models that are full of tattoos. There's a difference. Your composition has to be looked at differently when you're shooting in infrared than when you're shooting in color. Up next is a look at post-processing using infrared presets in Luminar 2018. Skylum has made post-production so much easier for infrared photographers. Post-production in the past has been the hardest thing for my students to learn. Shelly Vandegrift, who is my technical partner, and I have developed presets for Luminar 2018, and it makes this process so much more effortless. One thing to keep in mind as you use the infrared mastery presets is that each preset will work differently with the IR conversion spectrums. Again, I would recommend you do your research on which spectrum conversion would be the best for you. As you can see, I have brought a raw image in, which is the native color, and that's what we're going to start working with. At the bottom of Luminar 2018, we have loaded the infrared mastery presets. There are many options from black and white to sepia toning, and then some special effects that you can play with. Presets help you figure out what options you have and what you like. I tell my students that they should take one image and do five different post-productions and then make prints. That's a good way for you to test and experiment and develop your palette for what post-production resonates for you. Once you've selected what preset you would like to apply, and we're going to use the basic. If this is your favorite, you can star it so you can keep coming back to it. Now the slider is really brilliant because it changes the percentage of that preset. And you can really see the difference. You can even see how the histogram is changing. So you can play with it. And I don't recommend you doing it in increments. I recommend you doing far over to the left and then far over to the right so you can really see what the difference is. Next, we can go over to our workspace and we can see what we have already put together for you for that preset. And there's certain things that we do need in every one of our infrared images. So that's included in the preset dropdown. And then you can go in and you can refine them by moving the different sliders. 
We need advanced contrast. Image radiance and the Orton effect give us that infrared glow. And by, we'll give you an example by just using the slider, how much more glow we can get. That is a personal choice that you have. Sharpening the images, as you can tell, they came out of raw pretty flat so that we need to increase the contrast a little bit and the sharpening of the image. Vignette, we almost always need to use in an infrared image because oftentimes the sides of the image have trees or they've got skin tones and they become very light and we want to contain the eye to the middle. These are all interpretations for your eye and you can decide what you want your end product to be. I'm going to try another preset. I'm going to try the stylized LK4. Again, this is one of my favorites, so I'm going to store it so I can come back to it. Now, I like it when I have a little more warmth. So I'm going to add to the layer. I'm going to do a new adjustment layer. And that's one of the brilliant things with Luminar 2018 is that we can work on different layers. And so now I'm going to add a little bit of warmth to my picture. So I'm going to go over to Sepia Mid. And again, I can play with a little bit and see how what I like, but I'm going to really keep it at 100%. I can change the opacity if I want, or again, I could go over to this and do the blending mode, which I love. I go to normal, I can try multiply, see what happens. Or we can go down to luminosity, or we can try all of them. And again, we can work with the opacity in order to change what the look will yield. The wonderful thing about infrared is once you get the capture and your exposure is good, there's no right or wrong. You have to learn what's in your wheelhouse, what's in your toolbox, what you like. Do you like the split toning? Do you like the heavy contrast? But play. Have a good time. These presets are available at laurieglein.com. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about infrared, about camera conversions, or how the infrared mastery presets work. I can be reached on my website at laurieklein.com or at workshops at laurieklein.com.